What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today is a player that I'm very excited to debut That is 90 overall Luis Robert. Now, I gotta get this out of the way because I'm sure a lot of you are like mm, uh, Robert, it's Robert First of all, Luis Robert sounds awful. Second of all, it was Robert in Cuba All right in Cuba. It was Robert and then people asked him and he's like you can call me either I don't really care in Cuba. It's Robert he doesn't care if you call him Robert. I don't care if you call him Robert. I will be calling him Robert. One, it sounds way sicker. And then two, I think that's what it actually was and is. But, so I'm calling him Robert. That's what it is. He's a great card. Now, you can't see his speed on the screen or stealing or base runner aggressiveness, aggressiveness, but it's 92, 80 steal, 85 base runner aggressiveness. All very good. Defensively, he's very good. 87 fielding, 86 arm, 79 arm accuracy, 84 reaction. All very good. Probably not best suited for center field, but with that speed, I think he's going to be pretty good in that role. Um, so it's a, it's a good card for sure. Uh, maybe maybe left field if you got a stack team, but this should be a center fielder for a lot of people's teams. He's only about 50K and certainly has a value. 72 contact right, 86 left. 74 right, 88 left. Only 56 plate vision. To me, he's kind of like Ronald Acuna. He's got minus five uh, contact right, but plus nine contact left. He's got minus five power right, same power left, plus 10 vision, plus six speed, plus 15 stealing. Arm strength and accuracy goes down a bit, but fielding is much higher. Reaction's much higher. I think Acuna is a good card. I think Robert is very comparable as a higher overall even based on his stats. I think vision and fielding carries that a little bit. But we're going to pop back into ranked seasons. Currently 10 and 0. All right. Playing a decent team. Uh, not all that good. Obviously, our team is much better. I've got Manny Machado at third, by the way. That was a change that I made. He's got Kevin Kiermaier, Craig Biggio, Trey Turner, Joey Gallo, Anthony Rendon. I don't know why you would hit him five. Like, the way you want to order this lineup, maybe is Biggio leading off, but probably Trey Turner, Joey Gallo, and then Anthony Rendon. Kevin Kiermaier should be hitting eighth for you. Biggio shouldn't be that high up. Dude's eight and five, so probably not too bad. I don't want to accept a friendly if he requests one, just because, like, I'm trying to play. But we'll see. 324 with Kevin Kiermaier, which is pretty good. That is a pretty good average for someone that cannot hit the broad side of a barn or water if they fell out of a boat. I mean, Kiermaier cannot hit, but he is fantastic in center field. I'm sure he's going to cause me absolute fits out there. Hopefully we just hit it over the wall so he can't get to it. And even in some cases, he can because he, he robs home runs like it's nothing. I would almost guarantee there's not even a chance. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Terrible. I knew he was going to steal there. That's why I threw that away. Perfect throw with Gary. Just kidding. All right. Perfect throw. He's out. I screwed up. I got too cocky. There's a 12-6, though. That's going to get him. Three strikeouts. Ray Oswalt dealing early. First time seeing Tom Glavin, though. He's got five pitches. Interesting. None of them good. Hanging the slider. Can I get two with Tatis? He's got 89 speed. Gallo's got a really good arm, but he hits the cutoff. That is a double for Fernando Tatis Jr. to start things off. Love that I'm facing a lefty because Robert's going to have max contact and power. Here is the freight train, though. First, David Peralta. His three hits are three home runs. OPS over 2,100. And there it is. David Peralta draws the walk. Here is my first AB with 90 overall, Luis Robert. I know they're calling him Robert. I refuse. Ah, maybe I should have. That was a swing and a pool noodle there. Slumping hard with Mickey Mantle, too. Would love to break that. The reason I continue to use him, by the way, is because for his prestige card, you need to get so many cumulative stats that uh, I figure I should just leave him in so I can actually get those, so I can have his 99 upgraded card in the uh, somewhat near future. Oh, man, where did I miss on that one? See, that's my issue with Mickey Mantle, is uh, a lot of the time, I feel like I'm not missing the ball at all, and it's just not jumping off the bat the way you'd expect with Mickey Mantle stats. Guys like Glaber are way better, and yeah, that's not exactly centered up in the bottom left, but 
I mean, it's pretty close as Glaber's going to rip that one in the left field. He's got an RBI single, and we're going to hop on the scoreboard early. One to nothing. I'm probably not looking to swing here with Manny Machado up next. I did it anyway. I'm just staying two down the middle, which will be great if he makes mistakes, but he's just painting on the outside. I didn't think I was going to swing just because I had a great matchup coming up next, and that would have been a really, really good spot, and he's been a little erratic. I probably should have taken 3-1 and then see what happens after that. I get a little bit over-eager. Probably should have uh, made a lot more than one run happen that inning, but that's okay. We had a lot of time left to figure out how to hit. First, look at Robert here. He's going to fall down in the outfield. Got a good arm, though, but Carlos Santana going to pick up a double because I fell down. I mean, I put that sinker right there. That sinker is just a pitch I struggle to locate with anybody this year. Not even just Oswalt, just anybody with a sinker. I can't really throw it. This is a good matchup for us, and he's going to try and sack Bunt, and he's going to. Suicide Squeeze is successful. He gets the runner over to second. I mean, that's exactly what you want to do there. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Threw him the easiest pitch to bunt ever. That's a perfect example of why you don't bat the pitcher in the eighth spot. What are we doing here? Oh, my goodness. Throw to the wrong side of the plate. I hit the cut because I didn't think he would go home. Wow. And we are down 2-1. Uh, How is this happening? What in the world? In, like, back-to-back -back videos, I've been kind of screwed by people scoring two runs in the first inning randomly. What is my infield doing? I got two San Diego Padres on the right side of second base. And neither, well, I guess the left side from home plate view, but with shortstop and third. But, like, God, man. Neither one of them wanted to do anything there? Like, what was that? I got a late hit. I'm lucky. But unlucky to allow that weird run. Can I get three here? Absolutely. What a what a weird way to go down two to one, though. Let me tell you. We're going to score right back right away, so I don't really care, but just weird. There we go. Josh Bell rips it up the middle. That's a card that just continues to mash. Josh Bell every year is unreal. I got to get that 89 on my team. But here is Roy Oswalt again. We're seeing a lot of him. Might do a pitcher debut next video. What do you guys think about 90 Jesus Lazardo? Oswalt rips it. I continue to rip the ball with him. Gotta love me some pitcher hits. Oswalt, best hitter on my team. Top of the order. Let's make some magic happen. I mean, I can't believe I just swung at that. That was so obviously below the zone, and things did not go well. <laughs> I just had to say, oh, we should see Robert this inning. Idiot. Absolute idiot. And I just miss it with David Peralta. Man, that circle change from Tom Glavin is giving me fits right now. It just, it's that last second kind of break that uh, makes me be off in the middle. And it keeps breaking uh, towards lefties and away from righties, obviously. I just... Haven't been able to really do anything with it. That's going to be rolled over for a hit. Peralta doesn't have much of an arm. And he's got to. Make this play, Fernando. Good range. Good arm. Out of the inning. 2-2. Two -two. We got a little bit of a game here. Uh, I've really not done well in crazy great opportunities. We've had so many opportunities in such a small amount of time to really go off, and we have not. But here is Robert for the second time today. 0 for 1. Of course, it is his debut. I'm going to try to do too much and therefore end up doing nothing. Point in case right there, or case in point. Man, I am uh, still brain dead. Oh, I got a lucky hit. I was fooled on that one. Lucky there, but Luis Robert ends up with a double. I know people are going to be mad because I'm saying Robert instead of Robert. I'm almost sure of it. But I swear, I've, I've heard him say Robert and that he doesn't care and that it's either or. So, And Mickey Mantle will walk. Here is Glaber Torres, though. Someone that is constantly doing damage for us here on this team. Oh, and almost had something there. Just early on that fastball. 
And that's one is bopped into center field. And he is probably going to be out it too. Oh, nope. Hold on. All right, there we go. And I pop up. I probably should take there. But I know. Anything on the outside corner can't touch it, apparently. Tough play for Machado. What is that range for Manny Machado? Known for his range at third base. Terrible. He has not impressed me in the field with that 81 fielding. What is he doing with Tom Glavin? Kind of surprised he's not taking him out. He's going to bunt again. Why am I not expecting that ever? Uh, case in point type situation where you don't bat your pitcher eighth. Steal though. And we should have the third out of the inning. Nice play, Glay Bay. We're only up three to two right now. We've been working the count so much. Tom Glavin's stamina has to be running low at some point. I don't know how long he's going to leave him in the game. It is only bottom of the fourth. I guess he only has 64 pitches, but yeah, I guess you don't take him out in that spot. But we got to start hitting, man. Robert will hit this inning, even if I screw up. Let's extend this lead. We're only scoring one run per inning. It's not good enough. Oh, Tatis Jr. crushed it into the bullpen. That is a moonshot by Tatis. Maybe not even a moonshot. That, that thing wasn't all that high, but that was an absolute blast. Perfect, perfect. Love that. Ripped that one with David Peralta a little bit early on that one. I mean, only 90 off the bat, I guess. But we have a... Uh, you know what? I want to say anytime we're up to the plate with a runner on base or in scoring position, because we get that home run potential, but obviously not. Just on first base. Hopefully we can do something here. One for two. A little bit of a lucky hit the first time. Oh my... That's a home run pitch if I've ever seen it. I just could not sit back. Yeah, we get a hit. Early hit. Whatever. First and second for Mickey Mantle. He's going to fly out deep probably. It's kind of what I do. You're going to see it. I'm always underneath it with Mickey Mantle. His big PCI I just don't hit well with for some reason. Doesn't really make sense. And there's, I just, I don't get up to it. Do not get up to it with Mickey Mantle. It doesn't make any sense. He's unbelievable in terms of attributes. I hit worse with him than anybody else. If he was Glaber Torres, oh wow. He's the best card in the game. So I'm just going to use Glaber Torres. Or not. I rolled over hard. He advanced the runners. Is that a win? It isn't. Oh, it's a line drive off the glove of the third baseman. A run scores, and Gary gets on first. I wonder if they're going to give him a base hit on that. Hit it 104 miles per hour. No errors on the board, so that is a hit. That thing was absolutely ripped. And then Machado deep to center. That one might have the ability to stretch. Nope. Good okay. Sick. That'll count, because now he's going to be like, oh, man. He's going to come right back with it. Psych, it's a fastball, and it's right down the middle. Why is that there? Jeez. What's your arm looking like, Mickey? Not good enough, but that's an impossible play to make. Oh, what a play by Oswald. Make this play. Glove flip to his hand flip. Excuse me. And we get the out. I guess that's a nice play. There we go, Tatis. That could be a triple if this is fielded oddly. Nope. I know that's weird because, okay, if it could be a triple, how is it only a single? If that gets by the right fielder, we're in business. On Oppo Taco with David. Exactly. Hit Oppo of the infield. Sick. This sinker that makes it so dangerous is I miss over the middle like every time I throw it. That's where I want that pitch. I don't know how he took that, but I just have not been able to locate it. Like, I mean, right there. Tough play for Tatis here. Might have to barehand it. Takes it with the glove and gathers. I mean, there's no shot. Don't bother. Nice take. Ripped up the middle, though. We got a hit, finally. Looked a lot harder than 87. I mean, I would consider stealing with Mickey Mantle, but I'm not going to take uh, an RBI opportunity away from Glaber when I know it's a guaranteed extra base hit for him. That is an RBI double for Glaber. Glue bar Therese.
And that is a rage quit. And that'll be the video. There it is. Um, so that is the debut. Robert, also, you're going to be shocked by this. Unimpressive. Or Robert. Whatever you want to say. Um, yeah, man. I can't hit with debut players. I only hit with Glaber Torres. And I only hit with... Uh, now nah, it's pretty much just Glaber Torres, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know who you want me to use next. I feel like I should keep Mickey Mantle in the lineup. Tatis is still crazy. Glaber, still crazy. Do we finally upgrade to the 88 Glaber Torres? You let me know. I've used him only in BR a little bit, so I'm excited to try him out. David Peralta is still nuts, obviously, but let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Machado is done, by the way. Like... Machado is so out of this lineup with that defense. He, he looked awful. I'm done with him. See you in the next one. Take it easy.